Thank you, Mark Gavin. <laughs> no, Mark Yakin. Uh, now we're gonna do a song for you now that is uh, a tribute to a fallen hero. He is a man whom we had never heard of until we read his obituary a couple of years ago. Uh, and having read his obituary and his amazing accomplishments and contributions to society, we realized that uh, whether or not you know it, he has touched the lives of every single person in this room. No, not Christopher Reeve. <laughs> nor Christopher Reeves. Nor Steve Reeves. Nor any Reeve of any sort. Um, no, he, uh, he was a... Yeah, they're turning on each other now. <laughs> and so patrolling. <laughs> the snake eats its own tail. It's great. We're just gonna stand up here and watch the carnage. <laughs> Throw some more Christians on the fire. <laughs> a few more leopards, put them in there as well. Um, I'm sorry, I'm all distracted because I, I've decided to reward myself at the end of our show, assuming we do a good job. I'm totally going to eat this Stiller's candy bar. Yeah! And if we do a real good job, I'm going to buy myself a Roberto Clemente card. Like a rookie year? Oh, it's going to be great tops. Rookie Roberto Clemente is great. <laughs> That was my Pittsburgh accent, thank you very much. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, this is a song uh, about a gentleman who was a, a uh, professor of food science at Cornell University. Go Big Red! <laughs> Didn't we just go over the whole shut the hell up thing? <laughs> I was trying not to say it explicitly like that, but shut the hell up. <laughs> I mean, in a good way. Uh, his name was Dr. Robert C. Baker, and this being a tribute song uh, of, the, of that style, you may want to get your lighters ready for waving during the chorus. Or this being a Colton crowd, you may want to fire up the lighter app on your smartphone. <laughs> or really, since this is a Colton crowd, you can get out your Linux box and there'll be a prize for the person who writes the best lighter app during the song. <laughs> Every once in a while we'll be at a show and we'll, we'll do a line like that and suddenly you'll see like three laptop lids flip open. <laughs> like the Wi-Fi for three blo blocks around just goes out. <laughs> Nonetheless, here is a song about a dead guy. <laughs> oh wow, they are capable of being quiet. <laughs> no longer. <laughs> yeah, now that I said something. That's right, what she said, he said, the kid said. Where are you? Who's the kid who said, hey? Stand up. Hey. You, I, I, I can't see anything from here. Are you a boy or a girl? You're what? You're a girl? Congratulations, what's your name? Bailey, congratulations. For the remainder of our set, you are the audience cop. And should anyone piss us off enough, we're just gonna say, Bailey? Sick him, and you go ahead and just walk up and kick him in the shin. And everyone will cheer. Oh, you do not want Bailey on your case. But Bailey gets a Stiller's bar. <laughs> sort of a retainer fee. <laughs> She'll kick so, extra hard. Yeah, now. that's right. And she's gonna get like chocolate on your white shirt. <laughs> so shh. Bailey's on the case. Song about a dead guy, take six. <laughs> Robert C. Baker died on a Monday. We all know his work, although few knew his name. A Cornell professor who taught poultry science, forever enshrined in the Poultry Hall of Fame. 84 years worth of food innovation Chicken dogs, turkey dogs, and turkey ham But beyond them all stands Baker's greatest creation For Baker begat chicken nuggets for man yeah! oh, no. Change the way children and college kids eat. 